You're watching this video because you're considering using Squarespace's map block and embedding that block onto your Squarespace website. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through why you shouldn't do that and the alternative you should be doing to make sure you actually attract more target customers to your Squarespace website. And for those of you that don't know me, my name's Henry Purchase. I made SEO Space, the SEO plugin for Squarespace that's helped 30,000 Squarespace websites rank higher up on Google. Now, in order to add the Squarespace map block, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is go onto the Squarespace editor and press add block. From there, you're going to type in map, click here, and then from there, if you double click on this, you'll then be able to actually type in your business details. I can type in the address here and I can actually, you can see via Google, I can click on the address. And from there, it's going to put a pin. So on the surface, this you know looks like a great feature and it looks like something you could put on your website. But I'm actually gonna give you an alternative, a completely free alternative, that's going to make things much better for your business. I'm gonna show you why this isn't ideal. So as you can see, I've just added in this map block on my Squarespace site. However, when I actually go across to this and I click on this map, i.e. I click on the pin to take it through to here, You'll see the critical problem with the Squarespace map block is even though I've typed in the exact address of what we've just done, it's not connected to the business. If I type in my business name here, you'll see that the business name is actually, you'll see that that point was never actually connected to the business. And this is actually a critical flaw with the Squarespace map block because there's no actual connection between this map and your business. And if you're a local business, if you want to attract people that are local to you and are searching for your product or service, you actually want to do something else. What I want you to do is type in your business name and head over to Maps. And what I want you to do is actually click this Share button and then head to Embed Map. And from here, you're actually going to embed the map directly from Google Maps into your Squarespace website instead. So to do this, you're gonna delete the map that you just added you're then going to click embed, double click on this, you're gonna click on code snippet, and then you're going to paste the code that you just copied from Google, put this back here, press save, and then from there, I'm just going to come back here. And you'll see the main difference between what we had before and what we've got now is that this map is actually connected to your business. So as long as you've got a Google business profile, this creates a direct connection from your website to this business profile so Google can better understand where you're based. It connects your business profile with your website, which means both of them are more likely to rank higher up on Google, which makes this an absolute game changer for anyone with a Squarespace website who wants to attract more people locally. So there you are guys, whilst the Squarespace map block is something that's helpful, it's built in, this is actually what you wanna do instead. And while it may not look as good, it is going to function much, much better. And if you found this video helpful and you want to get more tips to attract people to your Squarespace site, sign up to SEO Space using the first link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.